Jeep has been around since 1941, but even the official Chrysler website, which owns the Jeep name, isn't exactly sure what the word Jeep means. The company was called Willys Overland at the time the first model was created at the dawn of the Second World War. They're not sure if Jeep is just a way to pronounce GP, meaning general purpose, or if it was named after a popular cartoon character from the 1930s named Eugene the Jeep. He was a friend of Popeye and only appeared when Popeye needed Jeep's special talents. Either way, Jeep and its seven-slotted grille have become almost a synonym for tough off-road vehicles with special talents. I have a feeling that if the trademark lawyers for Jeep hadn't been vigilant, the term SUV never would have existed. They would all have just been called Jeeps. In this case, the Jeep we're talking about is the 2010 Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon 4x4. The unlimited part means that it has four doors. A lot of people know the Wrangler as a two-door, and I think now that we've added the four-door where you have plenty of room, you can take the family along. Lisa Barrow is a Northeast spokesperson for Chrysler and Jeep. These doors are really cool because these doors have the electric windows, the up and down, and yet you can unplug the uh, door as well as lift them out of the hinges and take them off. So when you're going off-roading, you can do it as doors off. Windshield down, doors off, top off. I mean, truly outdoor feeling. While it may be simple to lift off the doors and fold down the windshield, taking off and putting on the winter top is another story. Luckily, you only have to do it in the spring and fall. And I mean you in the broadest sense. I went inside and took a nap while the photographer and PA in their 20s wrangled the hardtop off the Wrangler. Once the hardtop is stored, wherever you can manage to store it, the soft top is, well, let's just say it is. You have to do some type of fan dance to open and close it. Here's a clip from the video that comes with the owner's manual. Now, finish unzipping the rear window completely from the passenger side. Make sure you store it where it won't get scratched or dirty. Not so tough so far, eh? Release the side bows by pressing down on the latch above the front of the rear door. Push the top rearward to disengage. Again, that extra pair of hands will help. Slide the side bows off of the door frame track and lower the top down into the back of the vehicle. As you're lowering the top, make sure you're tucking the material inside the vehicle neatly. Now, eventually, you'll have to put the soft top back up, so let's go over that procedure. Still have that extra pair of hands? Good. First, undo the Sunrider strap securing the top. Working from the rear with the tailgate open, Grasp the folded side bows and lift to the top. Now don't get me wrong, the Jeep Wrangler is a lot of fun with the top down and it's a lot of fun with the hard top on. It's the cocoon to butterfly stage that's not pretty. But this isn't a vehicle for the Manny Petty set. It's more for the manly peddling set, as in mountain biking and doing other things that require helmets and sunscreen. From the Mad Max tires to the manual shift for two-wheel to four-wheel high to four-wheel low, the Rubicon is a serious off-roader. This is a place to put your Blackberry, but this is also the type of vehicle that you want to drive until you're out of Blackberry range. It actually, this actually means something. It's not just decoration. It means that this is actually a very capable vehicle. Absolutely. It has to go through certain tests in order to get the trail rated badge. Um, it may have to go through a deep body of water successfully or, you know, climb like a, you know, a large mountain in order to, to get that badge. Uh, maneuverability, things like that. So it's like a merit badge for a vehicle. Uh, yes, actually. Yeah, you're right. This is the only four-door convertible I know of, and there's a law that says you have to have beached out with you at all times. But seriously, four-door convertible, $35,000, loaded with a lot of fun stuff. Um, and the only other convertibles that I know of that have either all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive are the Audi Quattro and the Bentley. So it's a relative steal. It even has an electronic switch that turns off the sway bars, which is apparently something you might want to do when you aren't planning on seeing pavement for a while. The Wrangler also has an optional iPod interface, satellite radio, and a navigation system that includes a breadcrumbs feature. Breadcrumbs are so that you can leave an electronic trail behind, so even if the road or path is unmapped on the GPS, you and Gretel can get back home. Speaking of getting back home, never go off-roading without letting someone know where you're going and when you expect to be back. 
you know, whenever you go off-roading, you should always go with someone. So in case the other person in another manufacturer's vehicle gets stuck, you can pull them out. <laughs> Plus, you are less likely to need to do that whole Uruguayan rugby team plane crash in the Andes thing. The 3.8 liter V6 generates 202 horsepower and a 0 to 60 time of about 10 seconds. But this vehicle is meant more for Pikes Peak than the New Jersey Turnpike. The Rubicon gets 15 miles per gallon in the city and 19 on the highway. It has power steering and brakes, so even though you might be doing some serious off-roading, you don't need serious muscles to do it. The Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon 4x4 starts at about $32,000. With the hardtop, satellite radio, including the serious traffic, the navigation system, and everything else, the prices tested came out to be about $36,000. I'm Grant Winter, reporting.